What's God promising the man here? That's, Maddie, you tell me whether KK has it right. KK? What's he promising him? To have a baby. A have baby? Kids. Well, you got to have a baby in order to, to get this promise. He's saying something about his... his no, 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 that's... that's little, that, that was part of the page, but before this is... What do we have up here in the sky? Stars. stars. How many stars? Do you remember now? Yeah? As many as the stars in the sky, and as many as Amos, the sand on the seashore. Yes, and God, and then God had to. In order for that to happen, he and his wife had to have a baby. How old were they? Did God keep his promise to to, to give them a baby? Yes. How old were they? Either the last time he promised them, or when they had a baby. Do you remember? When he promised, either one. You're close. You're really close. So it was 99 promised and 89 promised. So when they had the baby, one year later, this man was 100, and mom was 90 years old. That was a miracle. The Bible tells us it was a miracle. And, and this man, does anybody remember this man's name yet? You know what? what? His child's name was Isaac, yes? And what was Isaac's dad's name? Amos, what was Isaac's dad's name? Abraham, remember Abraham? And Abraham did all these things by faith. By faith, he obeyed God and left his town. By faith, he believed God. By faith, he continued to trust God, and then God gave him the big test. You remember the big test, Chloe? On the hill, and what did he? What was he supposed to do to him? Sacrifice him. That's right. And Abraham did, didn't he? He went through all the way. And then God said, stop. You think he was happy when God said stop? No. Yeah, well, he was probably happy when God said stop because then he didn't have to kill his son. He thought if he did it, he thought that God would raise his son Isaac from the dead, right? But God said stop. Now I know that you will obey me. Abraham was a man of faith. And we need to be people that have faith. One of the ways we have faith is believing that the world around us was made by the Word of God. and But faith is not something we can put our hands on. It's not like I can say, here, here's some faith, right? It's, it's an idea. It's something that we think. It's a way that we live. So, in the Bible, in Hebrews chapter 11, God gave us lots of different examples of people who had faith. And the one we talked about last, time was, last week was Abraham, and this week we have four different men. To, to show us what faith is, and we have to go really, really fast. The first one is the first two brothers that ever lived on the earth. The first two brothers that ever lived on the earth, these were Adam and Eve's sons, and one was named Cain. We think he was the older, he was the older one. And the second one was Abel. Cain and Abel. You remember this story? The Bible tells us in Hebrews that Abel offered a sacrifice. Don't mess around. Just let it sit. You're not going to use it. Abel offered a sacrifice that pleased God. So he must have had faith. Right? So Cain and Abel knew that they needed to worship God. And they knew they couldn't worship God because they were sinners unless they offered a sacrifice. So Cain got a sacrifice. He came to worship God. But he brought something different than what God wanted. And Abel, he brought what God wanted. So Abel did what God wanted. Cain, he wanted to worship God, but he did it his way. And God was not pleased with Cain's worship, but he was pleased with Abel's worship. And Cain actually got so mad, he killed his brother. That's right. But that's not the important part of today. Today, the important part is that God wants us to worship him. 
We should worship Him all the time. But lots of times we think about worshiping God when we go to church. Okay? And so, but, but when we go to church, we, sh we can't just worship God however we feel like worshiping God. Right? We can't just worship God with some kind of fun things that are like rock and roll music and just all kinds of fun. Do you think God likes that? No. When we worship God, we have to worship God the way God, the way He wants to be worshipped. Just like here. Cain wanted to worship God, but he wanted to worship God the way he wanted to, and God was not pleased with that. It took faith to do it the way God wanted. So we have to, by faith, worship God the way He wants us to. Then, Hebrews tells us about this man. This man's name is Enoch. And this picture shows us that Enoch, the Bible says, he walked with God. He, when he lived in his life, he walked with God. Each morning he got up and he says, I'm going to do what God wants me to do today. And he walked with God. Now all the people around him, they got up and they were like, I don't care what God wants. Is the world like that today? Is there people in the world that really don't care what God wants? Lots of them, right? There was lots of them. And, um, but there's some people, and I hope you are one of them, that wants to do what God wants you to do. And, and you should not care that other people think you're funny. Other people might look at you and say, why don't you do that? You say, well, I don't think God wants me to do that. Ha, ha, ha. But Enoch, Enoch had faith, and so he walked with God. Now, he lived in a day that God actually talked to him. But how does God talk to us today? Through the Bible. So if we want to walk with God, what should we do each day? Read our Bible, right? We need to read our Bible. God's going to say something to us. He's going to tell us in the Bible something. And we read our Bible, and then we go out and we try to obey God. And by faith, we walk with God, even though other people will make fun of us. You know what happened to Enoch? He walked with God until God decided that he wanted him to go to heaven. But people who are Christians, what do they now, what do they have to do in order to go to heaven? If they're already saved, they're living on the earth, what do you have to do in order to go to heaven? You have to die, right? This is not heaven. In order to go to heaven, you have to die. But Enoch, he didn't die. He didn't. Enoch never died. God, he walked with God, and then he wasn't around. One day, somebody came along and said, where is he not? And he wasn't there. The Bible said he was not, because God took him right to heaven. He didn't die. Well, and so Enoch walked with God, even though nobody else around him. Everybody else didn't care about what God wanted, but Enoch wanted to please God. And so he had faith, and by faith, he walked with God. Then, the Bible tells us about another man. He lived after Enoch, so it got worse. It got worse and worse and worse, and we might say it got worse and worse and worse, worse until nobody in the whole world, there was hundreds of thousands of people, and everybody in the whole world didn't care about God, except for one man. Only one man. And finally God said, I'm going to have to punish everybody, but I can't punish that man because he has faith. And so I'm going to have grace on him, and I'm going to tell him what I want him to do. And so God came to this man and said, I want, I want you. The whole world is, is, they all hate me. They all don't care about me. They all rather do their own thing, except for you. So I want you to build a boat. Now, this man didn't know what a boat was, because they didn't need boats back then. But he said, I said, I want you to build a boat, and I want it to be humongous, big. Super humongous big. It's going to have three stories and it's going to be really, really long. And I want you to do it by yourself. That's almost impossible, isn't it? But this man decided he would obey God. He had faith. And by faith, he started cutting trees down. And then he started shaping those trees into parts that he could turn into a boat. And he cut down probably hundreds, maybe thousands of trees. And it took him more than a week, more than two weeks, more than three weeks. People started saying, Noah, 
what are you doing? And he started preaching to them. He said, God is going to judge this world. He told me he's going to judge the world. And they would laugh at him because they didn't believe God. They didn't care about God. But Noah, he believed God. He had faith. And so after maybe, I don't know, 20 years or so, he had some children and his boys grew up and they started helping him build. It took them 120 years just to build their boat. We don't even live that long, but back then they lived a lot longer. You know how I know that? Because the Bible tells us. And so I believe it. But Noah worked and preached for 120 years. One story of the boat, and a third, second story, and a third story, and a roof. And pretty soon it was all ready. It was a huge boat. And God said it was going to rain, and they hadn't seen rain before. We see rain all the time, but they didn't know what rain was. God was going to do something special to, to, to punish all the people on the earth that didn't believe it. So one day, God said to Noah, all right, it's time to get in the boat. And so Noah got in the boat, and his wife got in the boat with him, and he had three boys and their wives, so eight people got in the boat. And a whole bunch of animals, God sent the animals to the boat, and then God shut the door, and it began to rain. Now, we live in Black Oak, right? And we know what rain does. Rain comes down, and pretty soon there's big puddles. And then you go over here, and the whole street is full of water, right? It's full and full and full. But you know what? It rained more than five hours. It rained more than 25 hours. It rained more than 25 days. It rained for 40 days. And everybody on the earth who wasn't in all the animals on the earth, all the people on the earth that weren't in the boat, they died. They were punished because they weren't doing what God wanted. God saved Noah and his family because Noah had faith. Now the last one I'm going to tell you about lived after Abraham. So we had Abel. He worshipped God. He worshipped God the way God wanted him to because he, and he did that because he had faith. Enoch, did I say his name? Or did I just say this? Enoch, what did Enoch do? He walked with God. Other people didn't really care about God, but he cared, so he walked with God. And how can we walk with God? Read in our Bible, right? So if you, by faith, walk with God. So we, he walked with God, and Noah, Noah obeyed God and did what? He built the ark. He built the giant boat, and God saved them. And then we have Abraham and all the things that Abraham did. And now, this man here. This man, his name is Moses. Yeah, Moses. Moses' parents had faith, and they, when Moses was born, the ruler of the country said that all the boys should be killed. All the baby boys should be killed. But they were like, that's not what God wants. God doesn't want any babies to be killed. So they disobeyed. They disobeyed the evil king. And they saved their son alive. Well, God took care of Moses. And he ended up growing up in the king's house. See him? He's got all his fancy clothes on. He lives in the king's house. He's one of the rulers of the land. But his people were slaves. And came time... For that Moses had to make a decision. He had to decide, will I continue to live when I, where I get good meals every day, I'm well taken care of, I have everything that I need, uh, there's some sin around here, but I can do whatever I want and I have all the power that I want, or will I go with these people, they're my family, who are suffering, they're being whipped. Moses had to decide. And the Bible tells us, by faith, he chose to suffer rather than to enjoy the good things about sin. If he stayed there, there was sin all around. There wasn't people pleasing God. It would be enjoyable for a little bit, but after a while, it's awful. We can see this with sinful things today. Some people like to drink. They like to drink alcohol. They enjoy it when they're drinking it, but after afterward, what do they have? They have a hangover, they have a headache, and it's awful, and then their bodies, their, 
they get sick. So it's, it's enjoyable for a little while, and then it's bad. Well, Moses, he decided, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be around sin and enjoy it for a little bit, and then what, I, I will suffer. I will go the hard road and do what God wants. And that was how Moses showed he had faith. And all these people, all five of them now, Abel, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Moses, all of them had faith. And so because they had faith, what do we know about them? We know they pleased God. Okay? Because, but other people didn't have faith. And if they don't have faith, it is it's sin. It's impossible to please God, isn't it? So we want to be people that have faith. So sometimes we might have to think about how do I worship God? How do I praise God? Do I praise God how I want, how other people are doing it, or should I praise God the way He wants? Well, by faith, if we have faith, we're going to praise God the way the way He wants it. What do I do each day? Do, am I going to walk with God, or am I just going to walk wherever I want to? Am I going to do the things God wants, or do whatever I want to? Well, we want to walk with God. One of the first things we want to do if we're going to walk with God is to read our Bible in the morning. You wake up, mom says, get up, it's time for school, whatever, right? You wash your face, get your Bible out, and read your Bible, because you want to walk with God. Somebody says, why do you do that? You're taking too long. Say, well, maybe I need to get up earlier, so that I can walk with God today. Mm-hmm, yeah. Obey God. If you read something in the Bible and it says you, you shouldn't do something, then we shouldn't do that. People say, why don't you do that? Why don't you wear certain kind of clothes? Why don't you do whatever? Well, God said not to. Oh, that's stupid. That's the Bible. The Bible doesn't say that. Well, if the Bible says it, it does say it, right? So we have faith and obey what the Bible says. Even if people will treat us bad. Moses, he chose to go with the place where people would be treating him bad rather than have it easy and enjoy sin. Because sin, when it's done, it's only enjoyable for a little bit of time. We should remember that. But by faith, Moses chose to go the way that even wasn't the most pleasant. The Bible says he chose to suffer. But that was better than enjoying the palace and all the sin. I want, I, we all need to be people that have faith. And these men have faith, and if we do the things they do, that will show if we have faith 